Welcome back. Today I have a XS40, also known as the PowerShot SD300, that I used to practice making an infrared scene camera. Uh, only problem is that it didn't survive the experimentation. But now I know where the sensor is and how to actually access it. And it's just under the, the LCD. You just need to remove three screws and you'll be able to access the the sensor itself and in front of the sensor is a infrared filter which I have removed and replaced it with a piece of diskette film which just happens to be a nice filtering medium because it blocks the visible light but it doesn't block the infrared light so it should work. This camera however does not power on anymore so I can't use this one but I do have a Xus 60, also known as the PowerShot SD600 and I'll be trying to make this one into an actual working infrared camera. And now you can see the infrared filter, which we're going to remove. do it and now I just need to put in a new intro, uh, visible light filter uh, so that I can get only the infrared light into the sensor. The broken filter piece that I was able to dig out from the the uh, XS60 is exactly the same size as the, the filter piece was in the XS40 
And now I'm going to cut out a similar size piece out of the magnetic medium to get the proper filter that I need for the infrared work. filter is in place and now just reassembly. The camera itself works, and uh, let's see if it can actually take infrared pictures. Uh, 